Welcome everyone to the uh, my first leg of my round the world Cessna trip. Um, I'm currently going to be playing an X-Plane hooked up to VATSIM, which will provide um, ATC control if people happen to be on at that time. We actually got an event happening right now, the um, General Aviation Brisbane Madness happening, so we're definitely going to have uh, ATC helping us out. Um, we This first leg, we're going to be going from Archerfield to um, Rockhampton over here in Australia. So, um, yep, just let me get started through these checklists and then we'll get started. Archerfield Tower, Skyhawk Victor Alpha Lima with you. Sorry, I lost calling with uh, Victor Alpha Lima. Roger, Victor Alpha Lima with you, going to be flying ILS from Archerfield to Rockhampton. Can you say Alpha Lima that it sounds like you're looking to an eye off flight down to Rockhampton and I suppose we'll be to our final flight plan, please. Uh, I have filed a flight plan. Let me go and check that. Victor Alpha Lima. Archerfield Tower, Victor Alpha Lima. Sorry about that. You should have the flight plan up and running there now. Victor Alpha Lima, thank you. Archerfield Tower, we'll get back to you in just a moment. Understood, Victor Alpha Lima. So now we're just waiting on tower to give us clearance and we'll see how we go from there. Yeah, get ready to rumble. Just gotta wait till uh, they get back with me.
Checkmate 7600. Thank you. Showing final report three miles. Make sure one has five hundred. You guys can't really see this you're just hearing beeps just letting you know we're in communication with the tower at the moment through text channels um i'm actually you might be able to see it up there you probably can see the message up there but basically um they're trying to worry about figure out my clearance and uh once they get back to me we should be good to go Right now what they're looking doing is they're trying to see if I can take airways. We've got really busy space at the moment because of this event. Um, looks like we'll be taking 10 left and once we get out of there, once I get a proper way, we'll be able to head up, hopefully do a flyby over the city to see how it looks um, th through the simulator and make our way up to Rock Captain. Tower, this is Victor Alpha Lima. Say again, please. Victor Alpha Lima, clear, it's available. Clear, it's available. Roger and Tower heard that clearance is available, Victor Alpha Lima. If I'm sure Victor Alpha Lima, uh, clear to Rockhampton via Brisbane, direct to Rockhampton. Maintain 1000, Archfield 2 departure, runway 10 left, score 1655. Just one, two, four, four, seven. Roger, um, maintain runway heading um, 1,000 feet, squawk 1655, Victor Alpha Lima. Victor Alpha Lima, clear to Rockhampton via Brisbane, direct to Rockhampton. Departures one two four seven. Seven six zero seven text for parking via problem. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alpha Lima, Big Alpha Lima, Big Alpha Taxi one way one zero left via Bravo, cross zero four right and zero four left on Bravo. Alright, so at the moment they give me just six for four. Archerfield two departure. I need to verify what that exactly is. Feel two departure. Um, only ten left. Okay, track there at a thousand feet, but not before DER. Turn to assign tower. Okay, cool. That's easy enough. Transponder, transponder mode is still on. We'll get direct to the Taxi lights. Juliet, Oscar, Departures, uh, Victor Alpha Lima with you. Um, at Archer Field. No, no, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Helps if I press the right button, wouldn't it? Juliet, Charlie Oscar, proceed direct to Gold Coast. Direct Gold Coast for Juliet, Charlie Oscar. Archer Field, departures, Victor Alpha Lima with you. Victor Alpha Lima, Brisbane approach. Uh, report location. I am on on the apron at uh, Archer Field, was told to uh, contact this one for departure, uh, Victor Alpha Lima. switch back to the tower and find out what's going on there, so time to switch.
I've asked uh, Archfield Tower request clarification on current instructions still on Hangar West Apron. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, this is a learning experience. <laughs> All right, so I just advised them through the text summary to, uh, to taxi. Taxi 10 left via Bravo. Just inform them. AF Tower, taxi 10 left via Bravo, via HVAL. Cool. All right. Taxi lights need to come on. On. Parking brake. Off. Brakes. Check. Parking brake. On. Before takeoff checklist. Parking brake. And thank you for the follow. Archerfield Tower, Victor F. Lima, currently holding short, uh, 10 left on Bravo. Visit to Alpha Lima. Maintain one way heading, one way one zero left, clear to take off. Roger, Victor Afalina, maintain uh, heading, um, clear for takeoff. Victor Alpha Lima, assigned heading 020, clear to take off 10 left. Victor Alpha Lima is assigned heading 020, 
Um, clear for takeoff, one zero left. Set. Mixture control. Bridge. Fuel selector valve. Set boat. Elevator trim control. Set for takeoff. Throttle control. One thousand eight hundred RPM. Magneto switch. Check. Max one hundred and fifty. Dip fifty. Back indicator. Check. Engine indicators. little bit of crosswind there a lot of crosswind there Victor Alpha Lima, contact Victor Approach, one two four two seven. Contacting Victor Approach, uh, one two four point seven, Victor Alpha Lima. Thank you. Approach, Victor Alpha Lima with you. Victor Alpha Lima, say altitude. Altitude is currently 440, um, climbing to 1000, Victor Alpha Lima. Victor Alpha Lima, Roger, unidentified. Uh, climb to 1,000 feet. Victor Alpha Lima, climbing to 1,000 feet. And Victor Alpha Lima, uh, confirm you're at a thousand feet. Uh, Victor Alpha Lima, currently at 900. Victor Alpha Lima, roger. Turn left heading 010, climb and maintain 4000. <clears throat> Uh, Victor Alpha Lima, can you repeat the heading? Victor Alpha Lima, heading at zero one zero. Climb and maintain four thousand. Uh, heading zero one zero, climbing and maintaining four thousand. Victor Alpha Lima.
Um, took a little bit longer to get out of there than I expected, but as I said, we're in the middle of a um, the J Madness event that's happening at the moment. Um, so yeah, I've got a nice flight heading off to Rockhampton. This is part one of an 87 leg journey I'll be doing. That will actually take me um, around the world. Not doing it all in one day. I, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> So, yeah, to have a bit of bit of, bit of fun here. I'm expecting the trip will take around um, two hours, and uh, once we hit to our cruising altitude, I'll handle all my trims, everything like that, and we got ourselves settled into a nice trip. Alpha Lima, proceed direct to Brisbane, planned right. Victor Alpha Lima, direct to Brisbane, planned route. Thank you. Up. <laughs> that doesn't do much good. All right. Doing good enough. I don't put my flaps up. Set my trim. Set my autopilot. Help my climb. And remind myself to keep an eye on my speed. <laughs> I will say that I actually I think I prefer the um, the Cessna 172P with the um, other GPS units. I don't think I really like the double digital screens on this one. So I think I'm going to, next flight I'll go, I'll go back to the older, older style. I just, this one here, there's too much to look at and I get confused too easily. I prefer having like all the ones kind of like this, except for like the one screen for my um, GPS. I mean, I know the, uh, the 1000 is probably better and does, has more options on it, but it doesn't do any good if it confuses the heck out of you. Up ahead, you'll see the Brisbane Airport. We're just going to be doing a flyover of that and on our way to Rockhampton. Um, and yeah, so I did load on the um, Ortho 4XP um, uh, photorealistic ground and such like that. But the fact that we're flying at night, we don't really get to see any of that. So we just get to see the nice um, lighting effects. Let's go up there. As a disclaimer, I have absolutely zero flying experience. I have every, all my experience has just been in the sim and with that sim that I've been doing with. I have earned my uh, P2, which means I did complete a flight, a, uh, a 30 to 40 minute flight hand flying a plane, which was a little bit nerve wracking, but hey, that was fun. Approach Romeo Papa Echo uh, with you, maintaining 1500 direct to the Sunshine Coast. Romeo Papa Echo, Brisbane Approach, you're still out of my radar coverage. Uh, are you going to go around the coast or are you just flying straight direct? 
We would like to go direct for Romeo Papa Echo if that's okay. Romeo Papa Echo Roger. You're clear to Sunshine Coast direct, maintain not 1500. Maintain 1500, clear direct to the Sunshine Coast for Romeo Papa Echo. Thanks. Archer Field Information Bravo. 700 Zulu women. Romeo Papa Echo, traffic to your one o'clock, eight nautical miles uh, at, at 1,500. Roger, we've got the traffic inside for Romeo Papa Echo. Prisoner approach, good evening, velocity 1210, uh, passing to uh, 12,000, uh, inbound uh, moving for the uh, 019 approach, uh, and we've got information. Velocity 1211, Brisbane Approach, good afternoon. Runway 01 right, expect the visual approach. Visual approach 101 right, Velocity 1211. We got down to 9000. Certainly glad I noticed. Romeo Papa Echo will be back in about 10 minutes for Romeo Papa Echo. Romeo Papa Echo, Roger, report went back. Report went back for your Papa Echo, thanks. I'm certainly glad I realized that my uh, altimeter was somehow got unadjusted. It just didn't match what I had put down on my standby. It would have been bad if I was like, because <laughs> that was a good 600, 600 feet difference. All right, so we're over Brisbane. There we go. Looks like we've got a Jetstar and two Qantas flights sitting down there. And we'll just go turn this way and get out of their way. Velocity 1211 descend by the bar to 4000. Down to 4000, velocity 1211. Oh. And velocity 1211, uh, proceed direct to Cotton. Uh, direct Cotton. say that the um, the lightings of the roads and stuff is, is pretty pretty spot on is that I'm, I'm from actually uh, south of Brisbane so looking up this in the sky it definitely looks all familiar it's probably be the last time I see anything that looks familiar to me for on this trip though all right, we reach our cruising altitude just need to do some adjustments Um, setting my setting my uh, fuel to a little bit lean and working on getting to my target cruising speed which should be around 110 to 111 
Normally I would have flown this one in the uh, daytime, but I wanted to take advantage of the event that was happening. It wasn't too bad, although I think I made a little bit of fool of myself at the beginning. <laughs> That's all good. Yeah, so that bit of stall that I had earlier was because I forgot to put my flaps up and I just and I had increased my climb speed which dropped my speed out to absolutely nothing which meant I had to recover from that <clears throat> but at least I didn't completely stall when I had time to actually recover Velocity 1211, descend via the star 2500. On the 2500 via the star, velocity 1211. And velocity 1211, when possible, report visual. Uh, we are visual with runway and the air engine, velocity 1211. Velocity 1211, are erected. I shouldn't have any problems running in, won't running into anybody that's coming on on those airways because I'm running parallel to it. Velocity <clears throat> 1211 at Sovereign, you're clear to the visual approach from my 01 route. Copy that, clear visual approach from 01 route. Now that we're ready for cruising altitude, if any of you want some drink or snacks, there's a thermos of coffee around back, and I think I got some uh, peanuts stored around somewhere. Well, Brisbane Station, information hotel, now current. Winds zero three zero at one zero, which are one eight.
3. On first contact with Brisbane ground or approach, no fire receipt off hotel. Velocity One right, back to ILS approach. Wind 030 degrees, 10 knots. Have OK. Temperature 18 degrees. UNH 1023. On first contact with Brisbane ground or approach, no fire seat off hotel. Brisbane Terminal Information Hotel. Runway 01 right, back to ILS approach. Wind, zero three zero degrees, one zero knots. Have OK. Temperature, one one eight. Victor Alpha Lima, leaving control airspace momentarily. Control services have Victor Alpha Lima, I've got absolutely none of that. Can you repeat? Uh, confirming. Um, leaving a controlled area. Thank you very much, Victor Alpha Lima. Victor Alpha Lima. Maybe a Papa Echo is there. Romeo. Roger. <clears throat> My weather plugin doesn't seem to be as on accurate with the um, the ATIS that's being sent off by the um, the group, so I'm gonna have to look at that later. But I'll just deal with it for now. <sighs> I've got a, um, a plug in here which the um, NOAA plugin which should be uh, keeping everything up to date meet our source vet sim so let me pop an echo Leaving uh, controlled airspace, identification terminated, frequency change to proof, good luck. Okay. Alright. So... Romeo, Papa, Echo, Wind, prisoner approach. Zero, three, zero degrees. One zero nine. Have OK. Temperature one eight degrees. Pitch one zero two three. On first contact with Brisbane ground or approach. No fire signal. Hotel. 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 Visual flight rules at night. Heck, I don't even like driving at night.
Well, we get out from Lima, leaving by it, eh? Frequency change approved, see ya. Approach, Victor Alpha Lima, confirming leaving airspace, frequency change approved. Victor Alpha Lima, A7G, leaving my space, frequency change approved, see ya. 2.3.5, now connect. Brisbane Center, Victor Alpha Lima with you. Brisbane approach, uh, one, two, three decimal five, just on nine sixty five. Victor Alpha Lima, Brisbane saying good day. Continuing flight following from the approach service order. Roger, co um, continuing flight from approach, heading to Rockhampton, Victor Alpha Lima. Victor Alpha Lima, my apologies, so we missed that. Give you a VFR. Uh, and that just maintain 4,000. And you can continue direct to Rockhampton. Victor Alpha Lima, direct to Rockhampton. Thank you very much. Should have made a point to let them know when I changed frequency that I was heading IFR to there, and they wouldn't have been that woman is confused. God, it's dark out there. Good day, Brisbane. This sound is this is not awesome. This is you at level 32. 24712 to Brisbane, say good day, climb level 370. Taxi light should be off, strobe light should be on. I need to mess with this checklist, make sure it's proper. Yeah, I should have turned... To adjust some of those on the checklist, it just makes it a little hard if it's like... right before and they give us a clearance for the takeoff and I haven't even finished all the checklist stuff. Corners 546 descend, flight level 130. Descend, flight level 130, corners 546. This is Fennec and I, corners 546. Flaps are up. Taxi light. Sorry, station call, station call sign. Strobe lights on. That's 47 on. Uh, so plus four, seven, nine, and negative, so not at this time. You enter our air, uh, passing Mudgy, contact us. Passing Mudgy, come on, it's possible, aren't you? Hey, QJ1717, maintaining for all two guard here. QJ1717, decent, fly level one, three. I 
because it's like anything else, the more practice I get on this, the better I'll get. I think I might actually take the um, that sends uh, ATC courses they got on offer as well, because I think learning that from the bottom up will help me from actually doing dealing with the ATC when flying as well. According to the map, we actually got this, because this is terrain. Oh, well. So yeah, so I got no terrain errors, but I would have definitely wanted to make sure I was flying high, because this terrain right here is running close, and being nighttime, I would not have seen that. If I was to run straight into that, I probably wouldn't have even seen it. Because at the moment, see stars but I couldn't really tell you what's a something in the way and what just doesn't have lights on it oh. Station call state call sign. Cafe 23 heavy. Cafe 23 heavy, Brisbane approach. Uh, correction, Brisbane sending the ice. Score 4354. Maintain public 370. Score 4354, maintain public 370. Cafe 23 heavy. Thank you, Jet 1717, approaching Papa 1130. I'll just call again. Yeah, QJet 1717, we're currently now maintaining flight level 1130. QJet 1717, descend 9000, contact approach 124 decimal 7, good day. Thank you, thousand and over to Brisbane Approach on 124, that's all seven, she just 17, 17.
It's a neat little program called VATSPY, V-A-T-S-P-Y, that you can actually log in in, or you, well not log in, you can just open it up and you get to see all the flights that are currently happening on the VATSIM network, where they're going, where they're coming from. And, um, yeah, it's a really interesting looking device, and you get a lot of, um, a lot of views with it, a view of how things work. But at the moment, you still got a lot of people sitting here in the Brisbane. Um, other active areas in the world, uh, looks like there's, um, active ATC stuff happening over in, um, Jakarta. There's flights going all over the place. I'm talking about Europe. There's Japan, Russia, China. Um, U.S. currently have flights running at the moment. So, yeah, the flight sim group in this VATSIM is huge, really huge and definitely a worldwide thing. There's not just one or two people flying around. Yeah. Yeah, um, the flight sims and the VAT sims brings in all walks and rides from uh, experienced ATCs getting practice in, pilots just getting used to the routes they want to fl they're going to be flying, to people like me with absolutely no experience and just decided that it would be very interesting. Got, yeah, got pulled into it.
as much as I was sitting there and poo barring the this particular one, it is nice to look at the maps and say, hey. Honest five point six eight seven nine a thousand Q and H one zero two. It's nice to sit there and see. Oh, wait. This is not a thousand. Corners five forty six. It's nice to sit there and see like the yellow and the red where it says, "Hey, the train's either too low or you're gonna run into it if you go that direction." So yeah, maybe I'll just get used to this. Um, thank. We got Gimpy about. Hello, Valarios. Oh, now where did that come in at? Hello? <laughs> Why so dark? But I don't know, it's just dark. <laughs> it's like flying at night. So glad you're coming in this and uh, seeing me here. Plus five three sixty send five thousand contact approach one two four decimal seven k. Was that for one is five forty six? Post five forty six. Okay. Five forty six. Uh, Brisbane approach one two four decimal seven. Good evening. Good evening. Night flying. Personally, I blame the fact that they decided to start the event at night time, so everyone's flying in the dark. I mean, I suppose I could have made it, set it so that I was actually flying in daytime, but where's the fun in that? I'm tempted to find a mod see if it does if it does uh, like realistic night skies because being flying at night here the only thing I really got to look at is the stars. It'd be nice to have some to actually look at it says hey I recognize that solar system or that uh, constellation I know what that one is. That'd be so interesting if you wanted to try to like if you're in northern hemisphere you wanted to trot and fly without any um, nav aids just like try to fly north by going to the North Star. It would be interesting. I'd probably fail horribly and crash into something, though. Oh. I'm sure I could probably change the gamma here. I'm... Yeah. If I open up the settings, it's going to pause the thing. This is Alpha Lima Identification Service 7. It's time uh, 0847. Roger that. Um, service identification uh, service identity uh, terminated. Victor Alpha Lima. Might help if I press the right but button. Oh. Roger. Identification services terminated. Victor Alpha Lima. Thank you. Have a nice night.
Picked up, Alimo. No need to uh, change frequency. You can remain this frequency just so we no longer have identification with you. So uh, we'll just need you to report time uh, estimating Rockhampton and then report uh, when you arrive at Rockhampton. Roger, stand by, Victor off Lima. Hey, yeah, Risen, good evening again, Clarence Wilson, I'm with you at Magic at 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock On a four seven nine uh position center today. Squawk four three six three. Four three six three squawk on a four seven nine thing, thank you. Christian Center today, that's on nine six six with you, but over one eight zero. Uh, 966 for some today, climb flight level 360. Roger, climb flight level 360, I've got some 966, thank you. Uh, Brisbane Center, Victor Alpha for Lima, estimated time of arrival, Rockhampton, um, one hour, 45 minutes. Very much for that uh, $4 Good to see donation. You enjoying that tonight? Here's something to kick off the Alpha tour. Lima, Brisbane Center. Uh, oh, I uh, live control airspace northbound, so control service 78, uh, notification service 78. Uh, no report of traffic, Rockhampton. Quick change is approved for a report on the ground at Rockhampton to start watch termination. Roger that. No uh, traffic to Rockhampton. Frequency change approved uh, for uh, Rockhampton ground. Thank you very much, Victor Alpha Lima. like if the wind holds the way it's supposed to. I'm not going to have as much crosswind as I had to deal with at Archer Field. God, Archer Field was a 90 degree crosswind. I was getting the full brunt of it just trying to do that takeoff. Bless you, dog. <laughs> but, yeah, as I said, landing in, in uh, crosswind I found is extremely hard, especially if it's like it lands, wants to send me immediately facing another direction, and next thing I know, they're throwing me into the water or against the building, or... Yeah, I don't like crosswind. Not at all. I ever flew in the nighttime scenario on this. I was trying to fly from Brisbane to Sydney and it was light when I started and dark when I arrived. And the the when the crosswind was so big I couldn't really land so I wanted to get redirected to another airport. I got so disoriented that I ended up crashing the plane into a to the side of a mountain because I couldn't figure out which way was up. 
Yeah, well, I couldn't see anything, so... If all of you guys are wondering who I'm talking to, I got my lovely co-pilot that does absolutely nothing but looks pretty over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The sincere, that middle flight you see over there, that would be the Ganda Airport off in the distance. We're not landing there, but that does mark about halfway between um, Brisbane and Rockhampton. Thunderbird in the distance. with the settings anymore. <laughs> oh, looks like this is some... Just checked my uh, radar that I got a separate one. It looks like somebody else is flying. Flight level 202 going 319 knots heading to Rockhampton as well. Oh, it's nice to have company. They'll get their way ahead of I than me will, but that's okay. I actually think this darkness is actually pretty realistic because I'm not sure. I don't think there's any moon out. There's no moon out uh, today, is there? Ah, so I'm flying in the middle of the sky on a moonless night. The only thing I can see of the ground is the, the lights of the streets that happen to have lights.
almost near the point here where we be making a uh, turn from this waypoint and starting heading sh to Rockhampton. Still unbelievably dark out there. Given that we got, I think we still got somebody. Oh, it's just me here in this area, so that's okay. Just be sending a message on Unicom. Once I finish the turn there, I'll set my my approach. There. Sent a message via the Unicom because we have no controllers handling me at this moment. Let's see. What? Um, yeah. YBRK traffic, BH Val, IFR C172 at Geese, joining RNAV R33 Zulu at BRK SG ETA 1050 Zulu. Um, there's no ATCs that are around to hear it, so or any, or any one other one out, so that's just me on my own. That's all good. About 15 minutes, we'll be reaching VRKSG, which will head us into our approach. And that will take us straight down into where we need to go. It'll take us right up to the runway. Unless somebody says something changed otherwise, that's the intent. Hopefully when we get closer, I'll be able to see the runway and see the lights of the runway. If, however, I can't see the runway, I'll have to trust the instruments and make a, um, an instrument landing and uh, hope it gets me close enough to where I can actually see the threshold. But if I can't see the runway even coming up that far there, I'll have to abort it and make sure that I actually was lined up properly in the begin with. But we should have lights on the, f on the runway, we should be able to see where we're going, hopefully. But we've got another uh, 13 minutes before we reach our um, reach the waypoint and should line us up to a final approach into Rockhampton.
Alright, might be RK. Graphic H Thou IFR C172 on final runway. I'm going to try this as a completely manual landing. Which is... This thing has such a huge roll on it at the moment.
there's something wrong with the joystick. Okay. If the controller's not coming very properly, I need to make sure I'm doing that after before every trip. I don't know what's going on here. I know exactly what's wrong.
That's what I get for not doing my proper checklist. I didn't have my um, my fuel mixture set all the way, so I was like, I had no real control of the plane. All right. 3,500 feet, I'm climbing to... turn the opposite direction so I suppose what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna reload a new so proc uh, set approach on the south side again. Right. Um, light plan. Rock. Second approach. Enter. Enter. That was a. Uh, was entirely my fault. I just forgot to. Uh, it was like, oh, we're back where we need to be. So I was like, oh no. Rockhampton information Delta. Ten hundred Zulu weather. Wind one zero and six. I'm actually not sure about that Shamrock. Um. Sky clear. Temperature eight. Two point five. Curious on that one specifically, I'd say go check your ex the explain.com forums or explain.org forums, and they should be able to tell you there a little bit better than I could. I was trying to figure out why I had no control of my plane is because I didn't have the um, I didn't have enough of my uh, fuel things going up there. Hampton traffic, EH valve. Joining Arnav 
R33 Z Z N E R K S G E T A. Um, six minutes. This people is why you do the, the uh, checks. Try this again, shall we? And let's go ahead now and check this. It's the descent checklist that I should have done, so let's go ahead. I think I'm going to change the checklist a little bit. Meanwhile, though... for another landing. <laughs> Hopefully this time I won't. No, I was like, nothing's working. Everything's calibrated. Why am I tilting that way?
Again, as I said, when in doubt, you can always just abandon the landing and figure it out. I'm just glad I got was able to get the vehicle back under some semblance of control. Where are you going? Airport, we'll just reconnect them to it. Okay. Try this again. Why do I have trouble keeping this thing straight? Get on the ground, I'll have to check and see if I had some sort of failure that I wasn't paying attention to.
Oh, cons full things considered, that was a really nice touchdown, I think. No idea why the vehicle is so hard to handle coming into there, but we'll find out in a second. Get off the off the freeway. I'm just gonna right there for now all right oh Rockhampton traffic VH Val IFRC 132 clear of runway 33 brilliant Almost decide. I think I'll park over here and call it a call it a day. Once I figure, I just have to go there. I'll park. lights off taxi light as desired transponder standby after landing checklist completed why is my vehicle stopped Oh, excellent paused. Oh, hello. If I'm supposed to park here or not, but hey, I'm sure it'll be okay. Let's see. Securing airplane checklist. Parking brake. Set. Throttle control. Idle. Pull pull out. Electrical equipment. Off. Avionics switch. Bus one and two. Off. Mixture control. Idle cut off. Magneto switch. Off. Beacon light switch. Off. Master switch. Alt and bat. Off. STVY bat switch. Off. Fuel selector valve. Left or right. Securing airplane checklist completed. Wow. There we go. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, I'll be doing my next run, which will be a um, from here to the next step. Um, I suppose I was going to check here and look and see 
what if anything actually why my vehicle might have had so much trouble so I'm just checking making sure that I'm still all green consider this to be a maintenance issue. ah I've had a, a failure of the left flap so I didn't realize I had a failure of the left flap I had a um, in fact I lost the left flap it looks like completely so that's why it was giving me so much trouble to to handle that thing and hey I'm I'm actually kind of pleased I was able to land that thing without a left flap right okay so um, my maintenance guys have done some work on it that's now fixed just gonna make sure that the rest of my vehicle is doing okay wow what else engine ITT1 failed so I had an engine something failed on the engine what is ITT1 what is AT, ITT um, uh, the temperature instrument so okay I had lost the temperature temperature instrument of my engine I didn't realize it had failed okay engines accessories failures fuel and air props starter wings have aids okay all right well that's official I had reason why I was having so much trouble landing it is I had lost a uh, lost my left flap hey Live and learn. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me, and uh, I'll catch you the next time.